Okay, now I'm going to set up a web server on the Raspberry Pi and I'm going to point it to the same directory as the other two servers so that um, it's just basically, again, a tool because it might be the only way you can get a file from the Raspberry Pi. You might just have a web browser and that's it. So it's handy to have. So um, I'll start, just in case you haven't done this in the other videos, I'll start by making the directory that we're going to use. I my files and change the... Change it so everyone can look at it. Okay, um, now go to the sub user to install this. App get install Apache 2 right away. Got to smack the enter key pretty hard. Okay, I'll come back when this is done. Okay, now that's installed, I'm just going to change the directory that it points to to be our directory that we want it to point to. So I'll uh, remove the directory that was on there. Uh, www.html and Point. I'm not even changing the config. I'm just going to make it so that our directory there is what it will point to. So HTML. Okay. So now, if I go to the web server, well, the Raspberry Pi, you see we have a web server, and in that directory, as you know, is the um, syslog server we've been capturing. So that's there. I've also got the Samba server still pointing to the same directory. So if I um, go to that. So we'll see it there. Syslog's also there. So basically you could make a new file here called whatever, dot text. Open that up. If you open, well, refresh the directory, you see there, whatever. I didn't put anything in it, but it's there. So everything points to the same directory. You know, we've got more options to, to get things in and out.